like, subscribe, and leave a comment. So here's your review of AEW and Dynamite week commencing May 22nd. Obviously, Rampage is the week prior, because that's what you get the week prior in England. So it starts with the BCC versus the Best Friends and Bandido in a really good match. Go and watch it, I haven't seen it, but in the end, BCC win. Then we have Jade Cargill. <laughs> she goes back to back. She faces two chicks, um, squashes the first chick, then squashes the second chick. She's now 59 and 0. Was about to squash another chick, but then Taya Ty Valkyrie comes out and it wasn't a sanctioned match. And Ty Valkyrie actually takes out Jade and calls her out for double or nothing. So it looks like it's going to be Jade versus Ty Valkyrie at double or nothing um, for the TBS title. Then we have the acclaimed versus Tony Nese and Co in a decent match but in the end they claim to get the victory then we have QT TV saying how Hobbs is now the face of the collision show which is pretty good for Hobbs and how QT and some of the members will be in the battle royale at double or nothing so we'll see what happens there then we have Brother Zay and the Hardys um, basically saying if Matt Hardy wins he controls Ethan Page's career and Ethan Page uh, basically comes out and has a go at everybody and especially Zay saying how they should be boys and then they're all attacked by the gun club with chairs so we will see what happens then we have Chris Jericho calls out Adam Cole Adam Cole says he's going to make Chris Jericho's life a living hell and basically Chris Jericho challenges Cole to an unsanctioned match at uh, Double or Nothing and rips up the claws and the uh, lawsuit the, the, sort, the restraining order he has against Adam Cole so they can now touch each other <laughs> Then we have Adam Cole basically come to Chris Jericho and they start brawling until security break it up. Then in the main event, we have Bishop Khan, Bishop Khan versus Dustin Rhodes in a really good match. Uh, Bishop is from the embassy, but Dustin Rhodes gets the victory. Then he gets beaten down by the embassy, Brian Cage, etc. But then um, Keith Lee comes down for the save and also gets beaten down as well. So we will see and Swerve Stricken obviously was there then we go to Dynamite Dynamite starts off with Orange Cassidy versus Kyle Fletcher for the International Championship really good match go and watch you haven't seen it but in the end Orange Cassidy gets the victory then we have Ricky Starks being interviewed says so being sick of being jumped by Jay and Juice and just wants, wants, wants it to be to come to an end but what happens he gets jumped by Jay and Juice again <laughs> and they're going to keep doing it because they're having fun then we have Jungle Boy basically reflecting on his journey to the AEW World Championship. Says he's, he's got purpose now and he will win the next champion. He will be the next champion and on his next road or next his journey in his car, next home where he's going. Then we have FDR basically come out calling out Jay Lethal and Jeff Jarrett. Also calls out Jeff Jarrett's wife Karen Jarrett as well. Then Mark Briscoe comes out. Dax tries to shake his hand, but Mark Briscoe slaps it away because he's not happy because he got a power driver the other day. But Dax said he couldn't see, he had some something in his eye. Um, and then basically, Jay Lethal comes out and so does uh, Jeff Jarrett. Um, <laughs> Mark slaps uh, Jeff Jarrett, but then says to Jay Lethal, you better sort your boys out because he's getting sick of it. Um, then we have Sammy, Sammy Guevara having an interview. Um, Obviously, MJF's office still stands and wants to lay down for him. Sammy says he's not laying down for anybody and he's turning down his offer and he will win the title, so we will see. Then we have the House of Black versus AR Malik, Bli AR Malik and uh, Blake in for the Trio's Championship in a really good match. Go and watch it, I haven't seen it, but in the end, House of Black win. Then we have the BCC. As I was saying, technical issue again. Then we have the BCC saying they're going to take over and end the elite. Mockley says uh, they're the best in the world and they set the standard, so we'll see. Then MGF comes out, uh, says him and the other three who's in a four way match have built this place. And obviously, when his contract's up in a bidding war of 24, he said he might leave and take his ball and go somewhere else. We'll see. Darby comes out and says how obviously he struggles. He lived in a car until he thought he was worthy to come out of the car. Going back and forth with MGF and MGF just basically ends up with a low blow. <laughs> and then Sammy Guerrero comes out and then for the save. And as MGF is going back, Jungle Boy basically nails and wipes out MJF. Then we have Tara Valkyrie versus Lady Frost in a decent match. Tara obviously gets the victory, but Jade comes out and she watches, so the intimidation factor. 
then we have Hangman in an interview saying him and Kenny, they're like the family. And he says BCC will pay with blood. So we will see. Then we have the Adam Cole versus Chris Jericho contract signing. The Adam Cole calls Chris Jericho a low life, questions his loyalty for not. Um, but then Chris questions uh, Adam's loyalty for not saving Brit for being beaten down. And uh, JS obviously intimidate um, Adam Cole because there's loads of them and there's just Adam Cole out there with Roderick Strong. So Adam Cole brings out some backup in the form of ECW legend Sabu. So we will see what happens there, if he's at the pay-per-view or not. Then we have Danny Garcia versus Roderick Strong in a decent match, but in the end, Roderick Strong gets the victory. Then in the main event, it's the Lucha Brothers versus the BCC. Uh, for the ROH uh, Tag Team Champions chips in a really good match um, but due to interference from the Young Bucks um, Lucha Brothers defend and obviously there's going to be blood and payback at double or nothing like, subscribe and leave a comment